world or you had a lot of fantastic ideas all in your mind it's all in your just in your imagination a famous song by the stones but imagine you can make this childhood memories some kind of visible with smart technology with augmented reality and how that works will my next guest tell us. He's from Augmented Robotics. Welcome on stage, Tony Nischke, CEO, and he will speak about, is augmented reality the future of smart toys? So many great, fantastic words. Tony, enlighten us. Cheers. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me to this uh, beautiful stage. It's a great honor, thank you. Um, yeah, so is augmented reality going to be the future of smart toys? Let's have a little look at the mixed reality universe at first. The mixed reality is reaching from the reality that we see around us, you know, the stuff with the good graphics, um, to the virtual environment that you're used to from computer games. But in between, we have the augmented virtuality, also known as VR, and the augmented reality um, that I will talk about today with you. So what is augmented reality to start off? Um, the name basically says what it is. It's augmentation of the reality. So we do not take anything away from what you see around you. We only add certain um, objects, certain points of interest. So what can you do with that? Well, there are many different approaches um, how to use augmented reality. For example, for maintenance, as you can see here, this guy is wearing an AR headset, and with the help of augmented reality, he can see what he has to do on this truck, for example. You can also use augmented reality for guidance, for example, for tourists, to showcase, to point out points of interest. Um, of course, there are fun applications, which is what we are focusing on. Um, for example, this AR card game. And as every technology, you can also use it for military purposes. Well, if you're a startup and you want to change the future, change the world, you should always ask the people that are actually changing the world at the moment, what they're thinking about it. And as you can see here, they think that augmented reality is going to be the next big thing. It's going to be even more important than smartphones have been so far. So, at augmented, uh, at augmented Robotics, we have a very clear and easy vision. We reveal fantastic worlds by connecting toys and games. That's it. Easy task. You would think so. Well, but why would this be necessary in general? Well, you know, our partners from the toy industry are facing a huge, huge challenge to compete with digital products. Because nowadays, everything is competing with everything. And um, they have a really high demand for new technologies to, to compete. Um, and also, the industry does not have a direct sales channels to their customers. And they relied on brick and mortar retail in the past. And as we know, um, especially now during the COVID crisis, um, the brick and mortar um, retail declined dramatically. So this is a huge problem for them. And in general, the toy industry is not very well digitalized yet. Um, I always took a very easy example during the last years to explain what we are doing. This is a toy that you can buy in a shop. It's a Mario Kart. So there are already a few features from digital products. But kids expect more. They're used to digital content, updates, you know, things that keep them busy, interested. And um, we also know that kids have a great imagination. So where we see a boring office, they think, oh, wow, the floor is, on la is lava, basically. You know? And our mission in the end is to take their daydreams and make them a reality. So what would we do? What we're doing at Augmented uh, Robotics 
is that um, with the help of advanced machine learning and augmented reality, we actually create a virtual world around these already existing real toys. Um, we developed a technology that you can, for example, steer this car with your smartphone and then interact with the augmented reality objects. You can collect these coins, you can race your friends, you can shoot turtles at each other, and so on. Um, the funny thing is, this was my uh, example for the last few years. Um, and just this Thursday, Nintendo actually did that themselves. Um, they um, promoted the first AR Mario Kart, which is such a great market proof for us. It's amazing, and it looks really, really great. So why should other toy manufacturers do the same? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. The toy market is stagnating since years, and there's a huge opportunity in the AR market because it's growing exponentially at the moment. But there was a time for digitalization, in which we all were very busy digitalizing our products and our companies, of course, all except the toy manufacturers. So, as a startup, our mission is to help the toy manufacturers to overcome this gap and to reach, actually, the future. Um, for that, we have a broad portfolio. We don't just digitalize um, radio-controlled um, cars, for example. Um, the toy manufacturers also ask us um, about other products that they have, products that cannot move, like this teddy, or an action figure, or just a model, or any kind of toy you can imagine. And for that, we created a game collection. And depending on the toy, a fitting game is selected and the toy is transferred into this digital world that you can see in front of you. So the kid can actually experience more with his, with his toy and like everything he ever dreamed of in his head actually becomes reality in front of him. Um, we have many um, other products and show courses, so you are very welcome to come to our booth, uh, have a look at them, try them out, um, or call, write me later on, I will uh, send you the contacts in a, in a second. Um, so from a business point of view, what we are doing is that we connect two large markets with each other, the toy market and the mobile games market, and together, there are a huge 150 billion plus market for AR toys, and this is the future. Um, our founding co uh, team consists mainly of space engineers. Um, Evgeny, for example, used to work for the European Space Agency, he used to build satellites there. Um, Patrick used to work for the German Space Agency, and I used to build rockets. Um, our team grew vastly during the last years, now we have 15 headstrong team, um, still growing. We have people for the business part, product development, community management, um, machine learning, augmented reality, everything so far. Um, we also won a few competitions. The last one um, last week on Thursday, the Deep Tech Award here in Berlin um, for um, startups with the best machine learning um, artificial intelligence um, programs and many other um, two international and national um, competitions. But um, I can explain you a lot in words, but I think the best is if I just show you a video. And um, let's go. This is basically what we can do with our artificial intelligence. We can track the objects live, we always know where they are, and they can interact with those virtual um, objects. Um, but we also have other products, um, as you can see here.
Okay, thank you so much uh, for this little preview of our company and why augmented reality will be the future of smart toys. Um, if you have any questions, just come ask me at the booth. I will be here today. Or um, drop me a message. Um, if you want to digitize your products, sure, we are there for you. And um, if you're looking for a new task, a new job, come and ask, uh, talk with us too. We are hiring at the moment. Um, these are my contacts. Um, thank you very much for your attention, and the future will be great. Thank you, Tony. Um, I have a question. I guess plenty of you people outside on the screens in the web, web have many questions too. Contact him. Um, you used to build rockets, right? Yeah. That, that sounds crazy. So <laughs> I always thought rocket science people are these kind of guys with really visionary. Mm. In my mind, they're really visionary. So what is your company's vision, your vision, to say yeah. this could be the next big thing in the toy industry? Yeah, I think it will be the next big thing in the toy industry. I think uh, in five years, every toy will have additionally to itself. You know, you can use it as it is. It's fine. You know, kids have fun with that. But additionally to it, you will have an app. You will have some kind of digital content. And um, we will provide that uh, for the companies as a software provider, um, either just the technology or the games with it as they like. And um, every toy in the end will have our technology, our RoboHard inside of them. And um, there will be lots of fun. You know, the kids get actually away from the screen. Because at the moment, kids, uh, even adults, spend most of their time inside, um, in their flat, in a dark environment, playing computer games. And with our technology, you can actually go outside. You can go to the parks, wherever you want, and enjoy the games that you're used to. You know, this is great. So you're working basically, yes, you do work for kids. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to know feedback. You know, for, for young companies, feedback is like really essential. So Absolutely. how is the feedback so far? Yeah. I've seen this Mario Kart thing now for, I guess, two years. Yeah. So, um, but how is the feedback? It's, it's amazing, and we're always learning so much about kids and how they actually handle our technology. We ha used to have a, a bug uh, a year ago, basically, you know, where you could collect um, diamonds and stuff in one of our applications with your uh, smartphone, but you were actually collect, uh, supposed to collect them with a car. But the kids love to just run around and collect these diamonds by themselves, you know, by moving through the room. So and so we learned, okay, well, it's not a bug, it's a feature, actually. We want to integrate that, you know, we want to um, put new items in it that they okay. actually have to move around themselves, you know, and collect oh. them physically. I see, that's work in progress, I would say. Thank you, yeah. Tony, and Thank you. yeah, check yeah. it out. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the opportunity. <laughs> Thanks.